my name is Erin Cafaro, and I got into rowing actually, I like to say, through the uh, Cal football team. Uh, my brother is a year older than me, and he was on the uh, Cal football team um, the year before me, and I was at one of his post-game, um, you know, family fun days, and the, his head coach came up to me and said, hey, Aaron, you know, you look pretty athletic. What do you do? And I was like, well, I play basketball. I'm trying to uh, find a, you know, school to get into to uh, play basketball in, but, uh, you know, it's D3, D2. And he said, well, have you ever thought of rowing? You know, I was this girl from a little farm town in um, Modesto, in the Central Valley of California. And, uh, so I'd never heard of growing. So uh, he put me in contact with uh, Steve Gladstone and Dave O'Neill at Cal um, Crew, and uh, I guess the rest is history from there. I uh, walked on the team my freshman year, and you know it, it was the right fit um, mentally, and I think uh, physically I just you know took to the sport very well, and uh, you know here I am now. Well, I guess uh, my most memorable moment, um, I've been racking up quite a few in the past couple of years. You know, first and foremost, uh, winning the Golden Beijing, I think that was, you know, that was just amazing. And I, at the time, I couldn't even understand what was going on. I, I think it was a little bit of, you know, shock and overwhelm. But just looking back on it and um, how much it means to people and how much, um, you know, representing your country, and also this bond that you will always have with your teammates, um, and uh, you know, the sport is great. But um, you know, moving on to new challenges, I think winning the eight um, with a new set of girls, um, and also in the pair with Susan, I, those are just they're just great, and I, I hope that uh, we can continue those most memorable moments. <laughs> so get back to me, I might have some more next year. <laughs> My most disappointing moment, I can't pinpoint one. Um, I mean, it's it's been um, a uphill battle um, for, you know, a little while. It's just, you know, the size that I am. Um, it's always been kind of like, you know, you have to prove yourself, which I wouldn't have any other way. I don't know any other way. So um, I guess there I really have no disappointing rowing moments because I, you know you can flip it around and make the best of them. The best advice anyone has ever given me is uh, find your weakness and make it your strength. Uh, my advice to younger rowers would be just that: find your weakness and make it your strength. Um, you know, you can have a lot of things to think about uh, you know, that aren't going right or maybe, you know, physically you aren't as gifted as the next girl, but that's no excuse. You can, uh, you know, rowing is a very mental sport, so just, uh, you know, find your mental weakness and um, make it your strength and I think you will definitely succeed in the sport. It's not easy. I mean, you wouldn't want it to be easy. It's uh, you have to, you do have to work harder, and you just have to get in that mindset of, yeah, maybe it is going to be harder, and it's not going to be fair. Um, but you just have to go for it. I mean, it's, I think that will prep you for the work you are going to encounter in the boat. Um, but you don't know any other way, so you can't compare yourself to the taller, bigger, you know, more physically gifted rowers because that's not you, and you'll never. You'll never. Uh, when, I'll never grow. I keep on. I keep on hoping, but uh, you'll you'll never uh, grow any taller. So make the best of what you have.